What's up, YouTube? DJ Hypnotize for ScratchSociety.com. Welcome back to the Scratch Vlog and Scratch Corner. This is episode 65. On today's show, we'll be doing a quick and brief tutorial on how to install an InnoFader Pro 2 fader, replacement fader into your Native Instruments Z2 mixer. We're going to go in-depth with this as well as do a demo, so be sure and check it out. Leave a comment below, hit that subscribe, let us know what you think. Check out ScratchSociety.com. Remember, we are here to inspire you guys to get out there and share your own sound deliver a message that will impact people's lives positively through your music and scratching so if you love these videos let us know we really appreciate it hope you guys have a merry and safe happy new year all right let's go all right so let's see the contents of this beauty all right, we got some instructions. All right, then calibration. Very, very nice. Some stickers. Oh, very nice, very nice. Very, very nice. Should be pretty straightforward, just straight plug and play. Alright, now the one we're looking for, these are labeled, which is very handy. Um, And you know, I recently just um, remodded the rain over there. I wish I would have got that on video you, for you guys, but I was kind of in a rush and I didn't really think about it. I apologize. Um, and I don't see the one that I'm looking for. Here it is right here. Alright. So this is really all you need. You find the corresponding one to...
All right, so just for time constraints, we're just gonna fast forward this so you guys, we can just get to the good part. Oh, dang. The only bad thing about these knobs is always a pain to get them on and off. You know, I didn't even have to take any of these off. Oops. Z2 is a really powerful mixer, you guys. I mean, I use, I got it mainly for the, um, for being able to do compositions and live sketches and pieces. Um, but it's, it's a really great scratch and mix, uh, mix, mix, mix mixer. <laughs> it's a really great scratch and uh, DJ mixer overall. Alright, so. Once you got this, now comes this part. 
so I had a PNP in there. As you can see, there's a little PNP in there and we're gonna swap it out with this. But before we do that, we gotta connect it like so. Let's see, make sure that's in there. Pretty good. Alright. And then the other thing is. Bam. Connect this like so. Bam. Once you have two solid connections like that, you're ready to go. So now we can power this bad boy back on and test it out. So see there's like a little lag before the sound comes down. I don't know if you can see. We want it to be like the sound coming in right there. See so comes... Let's try to adjust the cut in time a little bit. Damn motherfuckers go. Motherfuckers go. Damn motherfuckers go. As I was saying, see? We're gonna make that a little bit tighter. So, what we're gonna do is just adjust the pedal.
right there. I'm doing like minimal movements. Alright, I think that might be it, guys. Alright, so let's put it back together real quick and we'll test it out. This PNP is gonna go in that QFO next. So, probably do a follow up video um, with that as well. Give you guys a little maintenance and uh, another little tutorial for those of you that are interested. Um, but yeah, let's put this back real quick and we'll do some tests. Okay, that, that's really, it feels really sharp, so I'm actually really excited to test this because my stock fader was not as sharp as I would like, so I'm hoping this will be a big diff, make, make a big difference, and sorry for you guys, I know a lot of you have been asking for more, you know, compositions and they're coming, they're coming. I just needed the right, um, the right curve on my cross fader. So I needed to get this fader that I have, so. Leave it there, baby. No, I'm recording, you see I'm recording? I'm recording. <laughs> Shout out to my wife. <laughs> You guys are enjoying these videos i really enjoy making these for you guys uh, we're getting a lot of positive feedback so oh, damn. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, that feels really great on just a very quick test so um yes this is gonna be awesome so I'm very excited about this 
All right. Screw this back in. Do a quick screw job. And uh, we'll get right into this. So yes, yeah, so next week you guys can expect a new piece by myself. Um, new composition piece utilizing the hybrid hip styles method for turntable composition on Hyperion, the very first controller one ever created here. Very, very proud of this. Took me almost a very long time to get that guy, but <clears throat> yeah, so um, this is pretty much set. I'm super happy about this. We still have one more test to make sure it's uh, great, but on based on that initial test. <laughs> So this feels really good right now. I'm just gonna put all this back together and then we can give it a once over um, and do a proper scratch test for you guys. Very, very simple. Big shout out to Innofader, my boy Elliot. And um, big shout out to all, everybody tuning in to watch this, everybody that cuts worldwide. Um, all the DJ crews, all the shredders, all the cutters, and um, you guys are cool, man. <laughs>